Alright, hello everyone, how are you all doing today? I'm having a laugh at CNN because they can't seem to understand why a the Georgia governor would ban mandatory masks. Now, here's the thing. The cases have still been going up, even though people are still wearing the masks. So, if it's not really doing anything, why make it mandatory? You know, why punish people for not choosing to wear a mask when the majority already is scared into wearing masks themselves? But not only that, the asymptomatic cases as well have been the heavy proponent that is uh, pushing up those numbers. We see that... Uh, more and more people are surprised by the fact that they have COVID because they've never experienced any symptoms. And one of the biggest reasons why the uptick is happening is because we're testing so much more than uh, is quite necessary because uh, we have certain countries that don't even uh, bother with testing unless a person actually feels sick. And... I don't see why we couldn't do that, why we have to test every single person, that why everyone has to know if they've had or are, are currently having COVID, because once again, if you're not really feeling sick from it, because we know the symptoms, it's not an underlying condition that will kill you if it goes untreated, it just, uh, it either affects you or it doesn't. Honestly, we can get into this real quick. It does say it's an analysis, but very quickly you see this person's opinions just jump in from time to time. Washington, CNN, on Wednesday in Georgia, there were almost 4,000 confirmed cases of coronavirus. Almost 2,800 people are hospitalized due to the virus the highest number in the state's ongoing battle against the virus, which was, of course, going to happen when you open back up. Everyone's been uh, opening back up and all that. A total of 37 people died, the highest number of daily deaths since, since June 25th, according to data from the Atlantic Journal Constitu Constitution. How did Georgia Governor Ron Kemp, Republican, respond to this obvious surge in COVID-19? In his state, by signing an executive order banning cities and countries from mandating that people have to wear masks when in public. Which, of course, people are already doing on their own. Why does it have to turn into a mandate? Why do you have to be punished for not wearing a mask? And even at that, there's people who can get exemptions. If your asthma is strong enough, you can get an exemption. So why the need for these mandatory masks? But they go on to say, yes, really. This from the AGC's Greg Bluestein lays out exactly what Kemp did on Wednesday night. Though Kemp's previous orders have barred local governments from taking more restrictive steps than the state, the rules he signed on Wednesday were the first to explicitly ban cities and country counties from requiring the use of masks and or other face coverings. The governor has said he believed requiring masks are a bridge too far and that such a mandate is unenforceable. You know, because people will protest it anyways, so why try to, you know, cause more trouble? Instead, he forcefully urged Georgians to don face cover. So he's still asking people to wear the face masks anyways. He's just not having them be mandated. And warning not doing so threatens college football season. Classic American. Right there, Kemp's move to bar local officials from requiring masks came on the same day that Alabama Governor Kay Ivey, a Republican, mandated mask wearing and amid a similar uptick to Georgia in coronavirus cases in her state. 
I'm gonna say, of course, the woman uh, reacts more authoritarian than the man. And uh, I like the conflation that they're both Republican, so they both should have uh, responded similarly. They can't be individuals in these people's minds. And on the same day that Oklahoma Republican Governor Kevin Stitt, one of the most outspoken skeptics of the need to wear a mask, announced that he had contracted the virus. Because a mask doesn't do anything to protect you from getting it, it just uh, helps stop people from spreading it. And just 48 hours after the U.S. Centers for Disease Control and Prevention Director Robert Redfield reiterated his organization's belief that masks are the best tool we have at the moment to combat the virus. We are not defenseless against the virus, said Redfield. Cloth face coverings are one of the most powerful weapons we have to slow and stop the spread of the virus, particularly when used universally within a community setting. All Americans have a responsibility to protect themselves, their families, and their communities. And they should have the freedom and choice to do to protect their families in the way that they choose to do so. If they do not personally believe that the mask helps, there doesn't need to be a, a reason why there has to be forced mandatory mask rules or anything of that nature. So, what is Kemp doing? He didn't say much by way of explanation. In a tweet announcing the executive order, Kemp wrote, To flatten the curve, I urge all local elective officials to enforce the terms of this order. Together we will keep fighting COVID-19, weather the storm, and emerge stronger than ever. Which, yeah, except the masks are a key part of weathering the storm, so why not mind mandate them, or at the very least not block local officials from doing so? Because like he said, it's a step too far. There's no reason to have these things become mandatory. There doesn't appear to be an answer to the question that doesn't get back to Kemp's politics. Or... Maybe his beliefs? But I mean, of course it's all a political move. Why wouldn't it be? You, 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 these people understand what's going on and uh, what their decisions will do. Elected in 2018 with a major asset from President Donald Trump, Kemp has made clear that he takes his marching orders on the issue from the president, who hasn't just gone on the federal level and banned all of these uh, states from making mandatory masks, he was resistant to closing the state at all to deal with the virus, amid Trump's repeated downplay of the challenge it posed to the country. And we really needed some level of downplay because the media was just going crazy. If you were to get COVID, you and your grandma and everybody around you was immediately going to die the way they were trying to frame it. Finding out the virus is now transmitting before people see signs. So what we've been telling people from directives from the CDC for weeks now, that if you start feeling bad, stay home. Those individuals could have been infecting people before they ever felt bad, but we didn't know that until the last 24 hours. Which was, well, crazy because asymptomatic transmission of coronavirus, people without symptoms able to pass the virus to others, is something that people had known about for weeks, if not months. And honestly, if the asymptomatic one were to be spread the most, it would become, of course, the most common and allow us to build up an immunity to if uh, you were ever able to get the more deadly version of this virus. We, uh, you know, we've cultivated genetically things before. Why not viruses too? If a less deadly one appears, why don't we have that spread out a little more? Kind of build up the muted immunity allow it to mutate once again to an even less deadlier version now that's all hopeful thinking on my part obviously 
there's a lot of dangers to doing it that way. And I'm not smart enough to think of anything better. Then, three weeks after Kemp closed the state, he announced he would begin to reopen, making it the first state in the country to do so. He made that decision despite the fact that Georgia had not met the federal guidelines for reopening. Of concerns that he was moving too fast, Kemp said, if we have an instance where a community starts becoming a hotspot, then you know, I will take further action. But right now, feel like it feels like we're in a good spot to move forward. And that was fine. How long did it take for him to get this upsurge of virus cases? How long did, you know, will we have uh, states that are taking longer to reopen and they're still getting this upsurge and they're like the snails going back into their shells because of a little sign of danger. When viewed through that context, Kemp's decision to disallow cities and countries from instituting mask mandates makes perfect sense. Kemp has largely operated with politics first and public health second throughout this pandemic. The latest decision is just more of the same. And the article ends with that trying to play it off as if it was some sort of burn or something of that nature. Obviously, he, I feel that he's doing the right thing. We should be reopening. We should not be allowing uh, mandating masks. But people are still free to do so. He's not banning masks or anything of that nature. He's just making sure that you're not punished for not wearing a mask. How is that so hard to understand for some of these people? You know, there were plenty of people who would live alone and who wouldn't have con come into contact with anybody else from their jobs, but it was considered non-essential. So now they were stuck at home. Many of them uh, have may have tried to commit suicide. Suicide rates have gone up. I feel that is a bigger concern than having people who... Uh, no, that's too cold-hearted to say. Uh, I was about... No, no, I'll, I'll keep it to myself. Uh, well, we're at the end of the video, so I, I think I'll be ending it here. Um, I hope I've explained myself well enough. And... Uh, in any information that helps, uh, you can leave that in the comment section down below. Once again, they keep touting how the cases have gone up, but deaths have been going down and they ignore that fact. Uh, hospitalizations, I don't actually know if uh, that's been steady, increasing, or lowering. But I do know that hospitals aren't being overburdened right now, and we've been open for or semi-open, of course, uh, California has reclosed its board, its state, which is just as retarded. Anyways, thank you for watching this video. Once again, leave your thoughts and comments down below. If you enjoyed this content, why not leave a like and maybe subscribe for more content like this. Until next time, I hope you guys take care.